And what is biophoton? Where do they come from? How does the life manifest these biophoton? See, in every living organism, there's the biophoton. Science knows that, that uh, the chromosome structural organization, the crystalline network of the chromosome, releases, emits biophoton. But in order to emit, it has to receive. How does it receive the energy of light to make the biophoton? Hmm. Under the answer we have found is that underlying every living organism, there is a line of form arrangement, a geometry also called a sacred geometry. And the sacred geometry has the ability to polarize, to attract the higher dimensional light. Like there are cosmic rays that comes through the universe, goes through the Milky Way, and reaches Mother Earth, and reaches our living forms. And a typical arrangement of a life of, a, a line, of the lines of forms or sacred geometry is this star here, six-pointed star. Six-pointed star is the life-giving form. The star with the point up here is the ascending star, the ascend ascending triangle. This other triangle is the descending triangle. So as above, as below. So this geometry has the, uh, the ability to attract the light. And when the, there are crystals into a ge geometry as such, then it receive, attracts the light, and the crystalline network releases the light. So in our chromosome, we have a crystalline network. Like our blood is crystal. When you, have you ever noticed that the blood, when it dries, you, you hurt yourself, cut yourself, and you check the blood, when it dries, it forms like a crystal. So we have a crystalline network within our blood, within our chromosome. And these are antennas receiving the light of life. It's called the living light. There is no mystery. It's been always as such. Simply, we are bringing to consciousness about true facts about life. <coughs> human beings and all your living species, mainly the human being is not a protein, fat, and uh, glucose uh, machine. The human body is a light and love machine. It has the ability to receive and process light. So as every living organism. You can see also on the wall here we have another typical geometry, sacred geometry. Now, every human being has its own sacred geometry or lines of form underlying one's life. So I, I drew my own lines of form. And I drew for at least 100 different persons. And everyone is exclusive. Everyone has his own special lines of form. This is the beauty of it. No one better than the other. They are simply different in beautiful geometries. Every plant species has its own geometry. So it polarizes its own light quota, quotient, or light potential. So as we receive this living light coming from the Milky Way, and it goes through the body, attracted by the crystalline network of our chromosome. Then it releases, it's being released by the crystalline network through the telomeras, or the tip of the chromosome. If you look at each end of a chromosome, there are little cones. And these little cones are like mini flashlight. Their brightness is equivalent to a candle that is uh, lit 
uh, 10 kilometers away. So it's very small. But there are billions of these little lights in our body. So when we trigger these biophoton activity into our telomeras, then we increase the brightness of the, telom of the telomeras, or chromosomal tip. As the light comes in through the chromosome, it's being released through the crystalline network to the telomeras. The telomeras, the small light radiates its a, a, an electromagnetic frequency. It's a silent language of the DNA. And giving the information to the enzyme for their magnificent and of great magnitude work into the cellular network. Also, this electromagnetic frequency is doing is activating and guiding, directing the intracellular activities. When a child is born, its chromosomal tip is, uh, the tips are very bright. As a child grows up, picks up in ages, in age, then the chromosome tip dims down. So the, there's less energy, there's less rejuvenation in the body. So when we succeed, when we can succeed to bring back the brightness into the telomeras or the chromosomal tip, we reverse the aging process. So having biophoton enhancers are one of the key factors to assist in the rejuvenation and the regeneration of the cellular network, either for a human body or a plant or an animal. We need to bear in mind that whatever we eat or drink, the body becomes. Whatever we give to a cow, the quality of hay, the cow will become. In the fresh pasture, in the spring, in the summer, and there's a lush vegetation, the cow yields a lot of milk and rich milk. In the winter, when it's hay, dry hay is being provided the milk consumption goes down. So the cow becomes what you feed it with. And that's for everything. Just common sense. When the seed and the produce are altered genetically, they are altering also the sacred geometry or the lines of form underlying the produce or the seed. And when there's no seed, there's no life. When we talk about structured food, here we have achieved a structured tomato. You can see the geometry of the Star of David within a Star of David, which is the Fibonacci sequence, or the golden mean. It's the plan of perfection for a tomato. Isn't that great? The tomato has its own intelligence and able to draw its own geometry of a star of David or a six-pointed star within a six-pointed star. Who has the right to interfere with the intelligence of nature? But our mission, human beings, is to collaborate with nature and to assist in raising the vibration of the lower orders of concept, not to interfere. But our mission is to assist in the raising of the vibratory frequency of all that is manifest. The apple has its own sacred geometry or lines of form. It makes it the apple. Whatever we see and we can name, put a name on, is the 2% matter, and it's filled with 98% space. And it's in the 98% space that life occurs and makes its manifestation in matter in the 2% what we can name and see. Our body is 98% space and 2% matter. So as we bring in this light, 
more love life force into our bodies. We raise our vibratory frequency, which has a direct impact into the cells, into the matter, 2% matter of our body. So we designed this exahedron in order to structure water, to raise its vibratory frequency, and to bring the geometry of the six-pointed star into water, which is the life-giving form. 